Today, I am going to be showing you some of my favorite CDs from my CD collection. I will not be doing my whole collection because there's almost 40 CDs in there and it would take a very long video. But if you want to see that in the future, make sure to comment it down below. So we're going to start with a CD from a musician, probably one of the gods of guitar, Eric Clapton. And that is his unplugged CD. This CD, I picked it up I think for one Australian dollar at uh, my local op shop and it is an amazing CD. Although I do not listen to it too much, it is just amazing. It is a masterpiece. It's great to hear some classic Eric Clapton songs but really stripped down versions and you can really feel the emotions in all the songs when they're stripped down. Right, so next up we got What's the Story Morning Glory by Oasis which I did not take the sticker off but it was three dollars and you might know Probably their most famous song from this, Wonderwall. That is the CD with this. It also has songs like Champagne Supernova, probably their second most favorite famous song. Morning Glory and Don't Look Back in Anger, as well as some other great songs, but that's just to name a few. This album is amazing. Oasis is probably one of my biggest inspirations when I write songs. I don't really listen to them too much as I used to, but they're definitely a great band. And that leads us to our next one, which is another Oasis CD, Oasis's Definitely Maybe. And this song, this album is my favorite Oasis album. It has so many great songs. Just to name a few, Rock and Roll Star, Shaker Maker, Live Forever, Supersonic, Slide Away, Married with Children, and a few others, which are amazing songs. I think this is definitely the best Oasis CD there is. We've got one of Aerosmith's greatest hits albums, Devil's Got a New Disguise, and this has, like I said, the greatest hits. We have Dude Looks Like a Lady, Love in an Elevator, Living on the Edge, Walk This Way, and Crying. And that's just to name the first five there. And there is also stuff like Dream On and Sedona Sunrise. So this, I'll first of all, I love the artwork on this album. I don't know if you can see that properly, but it is amazing artwork. So props to the artist of that. And also... It is a great album. I think Aerosmith is one of the greatest classic rock bands that there is. And I love that CD. Alright, next we got probably from some of the most influential songwriters to any band is a beat album by the Beatles. And we have Revolver, which I also have a vinyl of. First of all, again, love the artwork on this album. It is amazing. And also this album is great. It has songs such as Eleanor Rigby... Good Day Sunshine, For No One, Dr. Robert, just to name a few. And yeah, I think this album is probably the greatest Beatles album. I'm not just saying that because it's the only one I own, but it is honestly one of their greatest albums. All right, next we got from a band that not as much people know about, still a famous band, but everyone knows the lead singer of this band, and it is Tenacious D's debut album. And the lead singer is Jack Black, who is also one of the guitarists, and he's joined by his friend Kyle Gass. And with Dave Grohl on drums, who is the drummer of Nirvana and the lead singer and guitarist of Foo Fighters. So this is honestly one of my favorite albums ever. It is an amazing album. It's comedy rock. It's great. I love Tenacious D, and I think they're really underrated. Next week, step into some territory, which anyone who knows me would know are some of my favorite bands are the Foo Fighters, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Nirvana. And so, what better albums to have next than Foo Fighters, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Nirvana, which we start with Foo Fighters, In Your Honor, which has one of the greatest Foo Fighters songs, Best of You, as well it has Cold Day in the Sun, I love that song, and lots of great others. And this is back when the Foo Fighters only had four members, uh, before obviously Taylor Hawkins passed away, uh, rest in peace to him. And it has, it says that it has people such as John Paul Jones from Led Zeppelin. It has a uh, Josh Holm from Queen of the Stone Age and Nora Jones. So you know it's going to be a great album. Love that. All right, next up we got a bit of a weird album. We got Nirvana's Sliver, the best of box, and Sliver is a demo CD. So it's a CD full of all their greatest hits, but in demo form, so not the final mastered song or whatever. The reason this is in my top favorite CDs that I own is because I love hearing the demos of the songs that I know and love. And it's amazing to see, and it's very inspirational as a musician to see 
how their songs evolved over time. So yeah, next up we got Red Hot Chili Peppers Stadium Arcadium. I also have Californication, also by Red Hot Chili Peppers, which I love, but I cannot find the CD for that right now. So Stadium Arcadium will do. Uh, both of those would be in this list. And it has Snow, Hail, uh, Danny California, which are probably the two biggest songs on this album. It also has songs such as Hump to Bump, Slow Cheetah, Ready Made, and other great songs. This is probably the longest album I own. It is split into two CDs, and it goes for over two hours. And this was almost going to go for over three hours, but their producer, Rick Rubin, who's known for lots of stuff such as Beastie Boys, Ed Sheeran, lots of hip-hop, lots of rock... Uh, that producer, he told them that they should cut out the last CD. And although this album is does have a lot of filler songs, I think it is still a great album overall. And the final album on this list for today is none other than Green Day's American Idiot, which is personally one of my favorite albums of all time. It is, obviously, it has songs such as American Idiot, Jesus of Suburbia, Holiday, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, Give Me Novocaine, and my personal favorite, St. Jimmy. I love the way that they bought like a real cinematic and theatrical kind of feel to the album while still keeping a really hard rock album. And I think this is one of my favorite albums ever, along with Nirvana's Nevermind and Foo Fighters' The Color and the Shape. Alright, so that is all for today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and make sure to comment your favorite album or your favorite CD that you own. And I'll see you in the next one.